So for another inter one we, we haven't touched upon is research. I, I really, yeah, I just wanted to get to that. Because yeah. we've only got really a minute left and yeah. we've got questions, but that's a really big area. It's already, you know, I'm working with a major publisher who's already doing all loads of peer review using ChatGPT. Using chat GPT type technology to do all the peer review because that process is glacial. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you, you haven't had, had any research in AI because it takes a year and a half to publish anything, and by that time, the technology has moved on by a year. Which is also what Eric Schmidt is trying to do with his AI research initiative, where you know the kind of digestion, yeah. for want of a better word, of papers and the amalgamation of thousands and thousands of papers to inform yeah. you know the research will just accelerate the research um, you know trajectory as well as kind of lead to new knowledge creation because that's what we're going to be doing with this with uh, with this uh, chat gpt type tools is new knowledge creation uh, i think also this will so i think teaching students how to do research properly is a really difficult thing yeah it's subtle so it's lots of soft skills and it takes ages to teach it but i think that's one really area that's really ripe for exploitation here because the technology does it quite good everything from the title of the paper all that stuff at the beginning all that meta study type stuff can all be automated you know, you know we of course ai already automated that i'm old enough when i did my phd I can walk miles up and down library shelves to get books and journals. That's now a second. I think you should all take six months off your PhD students. Agreed. Honestly, because it's so easy to get access to the past research now. And then on top of that, all the critiquing and on data analysis. Use these tools for data analysis. If you do it, if you've done any peer review, you'll know how crap data can be. You can do the interrogation of open input answers and qualitative research using AI. Think about how much time that would save you. So there's a whole rack of things in the research front. Another one I that... think we need to come back for that discussion, don't know, because we're yeah. starting to run out of time, unfortunately. But I, I agree with you, the research domain would make a very interesting topic to yeah. maybe you and I should sit here next year. Yeah. <laughs>